All right, so the new uh, relative compression test, no longer on TechStream, but sadly, and I mean that, on GTS Plus. You guys go ahead and give me a sample. I'm going to aim it kind of low so we can see. All right. All right, so talk me through what you're about to do here. So Actually, that, that gave me a nice glare. Let's figure out the glare. We work with that. All okay. right. How'd you get here? So, uh, let's go back. So we're going to go... Under Generally under active test. Makes sense. Check cylinder compression. Cool. And one thing to note is that if you're doing a push to start, it wants you to hold the button rather than just... Oh, a little detail. That's pretty important. That's why we were not able to figure it out earlier. Cool. There. Little GTS plus. The load. Nothing but the web-based best. Mm -hmm. Sometime within the next 20 years. Okay. Be good. All right, so you just get in, get under active test. Yep, then you're going to go here. Compression. Okay. Cylinder is going to be that number. Gotcha. So then when I press, he and I are going to have to press start and crank at the same time. Okay, just about. And then... It's going to show the numbers of the RPM of each uh, cylinder. Gotcha. All right. So, yeah. Coordination. All right. Three, two, one. There you go. All the numbers right there. Cylinder okay, two. about 170s, except two is showing about a 235. Indeed. 170, 171 on one, three, uh, and four. And number two is high, so let's uh, let's discuss that for a moment here. All right, so this is the purpose of the test. When it's running the starter, it's watching the crankshaft speed. It knows when the crankshaft is in, let's just say, from 12 o'clock to the first 6 o'clock, that first 180, maybe cylinder one is coming up on compression, the crankshaft is going to have a speed, and it was about 170 um, RPM. Then, this is not the firing order, but let's just fib, okay? Then on the next 180, let's say it's cylinder number two, that actually sped up to 235. So it spun faster in cylinder two. Then in cylinder number three, that third 180, it slowed down to about 171. And then in cylinder four, that last 180, it slowed down to about 170. From what I recall, those were the numbers you saw on screen. So we have to think about that critically. This one was slow fast slow slow so obviously if you're thinking we have a problem you'd know that two is the one that stands out but why does it stand out well this car has a misfire we have a, a misfire on cylinder number two um we could do a spark check test for spark um and we did and it has spark on all four but it's got a dead hole so if we were to do like a power balance and you were to disconnect one coil at a time if you had it running this coil would drop that coil is the same. This coil would drop. This coil would drop. So basically, we know cylinder two is not working. The relative compression test is just a fast way to, to tell if it's an actual internal engine malfunction that's causing low compression. So the fact that cylinder number two, when it was on the compression stroke, it went fast, it's because it's not making any compression. So now, we don't know what's wrong, though, do we? We just know we're, we're even more sure that it's an internal engine problem. So we'll have to do further diagnosis to find out why is cylinder number two compression low. But the tech stream tells us, yes, this is mechanical. Stop checking the spark and fuel. Very good. Thank you.